I, I think so many of us, you know, we have the internet and it's just part of our everyday life. You don't really think about it. But the FCC says still about 6% of the country lacks adequate internet access. And then when you look at rural areas, that grows to one in four. So 25%. That's just crazy to think about. So take a look at these government maps here showing broadband access in Virginia and North Carolina. The FCC defines uh, broadband as 25 megabits per second download speeds with three megabits per second upload speed and rural areas tend to have a lot less coverage both in Hampton Roads and northeastern North Carolina. Now the federal government has already sent $800 million to Virginia to try and improve those numbers. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin says he wants even faster internet 100 over 20 available to everyone. And the Republican is working with Democratic Senator Mark Warner's office to try and make it happen. This effort, a bipartisan one that includes others in Congress. Um, and so one of the things that I'm really proud of is within the Bipartisan Infrastructure Investment uh, and Jobs Act, uh, it included my bill, the Speedy Updates Act, um, which is uh, to ensure that new high speed internet networks are built with up to date upload and download capabilities. Um, and so I'm, I'm happy to hear Governor Yunkin kind of echoing that same sentiment. And that's Virginia Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger. In North Carolina, Governor Roy Cooper's plan for expanding broadband access includes using nearly a billion dollars in American Rescue Plan funds by 2026 to do so. Also, last, last month, the U.S. Commerce Secretary joined Governor Cooper in Durham for the announcement of the Internet for All initiative, basically investing $45 billion to give all Americans access to fast, reliable Internet by the end of the decade. Anthony Sabella, News 3.